have a slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness the bold and the beautiful spoils revealed that because the custody battle for Douglas was so intense, they had to settle it by taking it to court. However, it seems that it greatly affects the spirit and emotions of Douglas. The child doesn't want to cause friction among people he loves, so Douglas wants to make the choice clear. He tells Thomas now that he is getting to use life with Hope and Liam, and he wants to live with them. Douglas wants Thomas to be able to let the boy have the right to choose his own life with both Hope and Liam. And... He wants to live with them. Douglas wants Thomas to be able to let the boy have the right to choose his own life, not wanting to be tied down by anything. But it seems that Thomas disagrees, and he will definitely not give up until Douglas can return to him. Thomas tried very hard to convince Douglas to agree to return to live with him. He thought that he should be the biological father, a relative of the boy, and would definitely bring him a warmer and happier life. There's no place like the warmth of a family. What Douglas had to do that so that Thomas can agree to let him live with Hope and Liam. On the other hand, Sheila's life became increasingly deadlocked when a wanted warrant was issued across the country. Now Sheila can hardly rent a room or buy any food because everyone is searching for her whereabouts. Sheila does not know how to escape the police pursuit, and now she must find a way to escape. Therefore, Sheila devised a plan to take, fake her death to get a new identity in life. Sheila tried to create a scene like the one of being killed by someone, and she placed a corpse on the scene of the incident. Sheila has intentionally informed the police Sheila's dead. So far, Sheila's plan is going perfectly. And the police think that Sheila is really dead and take the body away. But if the autopsy, will the police find that it is not Sheila's body? Besides, ever since Carter and Quinn reunited, they've had a happy and fun life together. Carter now just wants to have a happy family with lovely, lovely children. Therefore, Carter decides to propose to Quinn and organize a grand wedding for her. However, it seems that it's not Quinn's wish. She just wants to live a normal life next to Carter without having to hold a wedding ceremony. Furthermore, Quinn doesn't want to be bound by a marriage again, and perhaps Quinn, because she was obsessed with her marriage to Eric and she didn't want to have more children, refused to hold the wedding. How did Carter react when Quinn refused to hold the wedding? Will Carter rethink his relationship with Quinn?